Yes, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, Tankers of Blitz, to the channel. My collection of Sherman tanks in World of Tanks Blitz has just got a little bit bigger, as you can see. I've added this one, the Firefly Saunders SP, to uh, the game. This is part of the uh, Girls und Panzer collection, which uh, can get in the game. I think I got this one as a pop-up offer, so I'm not quite sure if everybody has it, but uh, I got... Uh, this as a big bundle, I had the Saunders as a regular one, the Pravda, the IS-2 Pravda, the white one, and the Kami SP as uh, just single pop-up offers, and €27.99 Euros for this collection of tanks, in my opinion, isn't that bad. And they do look good as well, because you can see there's actually a handle on the Lotus hatch, the pistol port has been shut, and on this Firefly, those are absent, because in reality this pistol port would have been uh, welded shut. And this one's still uh, pretty functional. Uh, only major gripe I actually have because it looks really good from all the undercuts for, for the driver's hood and the co-driver's hatches and all the wells are actually there with even these ones uh, just tapering a bit towards the top. The only thing that is a bit off-putting for me is the fact that the turret sits a little bit too high and it's a little bit skinny at the bottom. But that's just nitpicking that might be the Shermaholic in me crying a little bit. Anyways, what we're going to do... We're going to show you uh, three games. Three games I had uh, with this tank, and uh, I think you will be, I think you will like them. And uh, please, as always, tell me: Do you have this tank? Have you bought it in the garage? Do you like the girls and Panzer, or are you just thinking, Nah, I'm not a weeb. I'm just a tanker with no self-esteem, but I'm not getting getting these tanks. Um, I like this one. Why do I like it? A few things. First, it's a Sherman. Uh, two, it does what it you ask it to do you can rely on it and the gun oh boy i love this gun it is such a great piece of ordnance it, it's a british 70 pounder obviously it has excellent muzzle velocity it is accurate it snaps wherever you want it to just about the only thing that's lacking in my opinion is the gun depression because i think it is minus six or minus seven it's not the minus 10 you would want to get and which you would get on this thing for example the M4 Sherman or on the Easy 8 which is an American tech tree and that's due to the fact that the 70 pounder had a really large breech block so uh, yeah uh, F in the chat for uh, your gun depression but other than that pretty good solid tank we are on top as you can see at uh, Middleburg we are pushing this flank and I'm thinking right let's go this SDRV is getting flanked by the Chaffee let's just go for him Let's go all the way around. Let's try to shoot him. And I'm thinking, dude, what are you doing? There's a perfectly healthy Chaffee sitting right behind you. Why are you shooting me? Is it... Here, have that. Yeah, let's go. We're going to go for another one. Yes, we killed two tanks. That's all fine and dandy. And have I mentioned yet that the gun is just... Oh la la, just great, just magnificent. You believe him. Here we go, snapshot. Ooh. I was a little bit lucky, I know that guys, I really was, but I knew a little gap would probably just about open up, and here you see the gun depression, if I had 10 degrees I would have been able to just sneak that shot in, but oh well, the uh, the, the, the Chaffee takes out the AMX, that is good, and that means that I'm not longer hunting for kills and Resenias, because I was kind of thinking, well, I've got two kills, if I can get a third one, I might be able to get seven kills, but it wasn't to be. Gonna shoot this guy, there we go, 179, you got 170, uh, 160 in terms of average damage on your AP, and 135, I think, on your uh, APCR. But as I said, you will want to play this tank in a position where you can... Well, you can use the gun where you don't get hit in return. We're going to shoot the hit point pinata over there, which is to talk to. You do not want to trade with this tank because it has some form of armor. You've seen that we bounced a uh, APCR shell from the Jagdpanzer 4, and I think that was on our front plate. Maybe not sure. Maybe it was on the mantlet. You do have a little bit in terms of uh, armor with your gun mantlet, and you can bounce uh, higher tier opponents, provided they are light tanks and medium tanks. Don't count on bouncing tank destroyers that are tier 7. Don't count on bouncing uh, heavy tanks that are tier 7. And I got a little bit of lag over here, as you can see, because I would... I'm a bit of an idiot, but I wouldn't drive out in front of an ARL at this amount of health like that. It was just a little bit of, a little bit of lag, and I think, I'm not quite sure... I can't find the bounce. No. Can't really find the bounce we had on the 
on the front from the Jagdpanzer 4. But uh, oh well, we've got uh, a first class, a Top Gun, Ridley Walters medal for killing five tanks, 1871 damage dealt, which is fine, I think, for a tier 6. If you could get like 1300 to 1500 your own damage and then a little bit of assistance, that would be all fine and dandy for, uh, for a tier 6 tank. Uh, we did get a little bit of assistance from shooting the Torque, as you can see over here. And it's not too bad in terms of a credit earner. So, what we're going to do, we're going to hop into... No, we're not going to hop into the next one. We are going to hop into uh, the stats for just just a little bit. Why so? I want to show you what the gun is like. Look at this. Damage per minute, and, and this is my equipment. Actually, I had it all on the left when I played the games, and then I started to uh, switch this one. Guys, obviously, you do not need a rammer with this tank. Period. You've got 171 base penetration on your AP. That's enough to go through everything you will be facing if you fire the weak spots. And if you really need to penetrate a shot, then 239 of APCR will do the job just fine. It's only 20 penetration on its HC, which is a little bit, a little bit skinny, a little bit, a little bit lowish. I was hoping for like 30, 35 maybe. Uh, but oh well, it, it wasn't to be. Aiming time, quite nice, 3.3. And as you can see here, it's the gun depression, only 6 degrees. That takes, you have to take that into account. Mobility-wise, not bad whatsoever. As you can see, it, uh, it gets the jo job done. And uh, yeah, I think it is a pretty good solid tank to have in the garage. And speaking about solid and having tanks in the garage, and speaking about gun depression... Um, this is a game we are going to play on a Lost Temple. And there's a bit of Russian bias in this game as well, because uh, KV-1 has a in platoon versus KV-2 is in platoon. Well, the big, uh, the big, better, better derpers. That's the KV-2, obviously. But the KV-2 is a bit hit and miss. If it hits, brilliant, bam, right into your face. If it misses, mm, not too, uh, not too, not too well. It, it's not, not that great in that regard. So what I want to do here is um, not rush, because I, I'm, I don't see what my team is doing. I do not want to go up on the temple steps. I normally would do so, but I kind of like the gun depression and two KV-1S's from a clan that might start pushing. Mm, uh, that won't work well. I've got 980 hit points. If they roll high twice on their AP, I'm gone. And I would be able to get like two or three shots into them. That's that's just bad training. So let's go into uh, this spot. Shoot the Panzer 4G. And you can see that he misses me. And that's all well and good. Can we shoot him again? Yes, we can. But we miss. Um, and the Reds are capturing A. And I'm already looking at this uh, mini-map here and thinking those KV-2s... I'm, I'm, I have mixed, mixed feelings about how they are deploying, as you can see. And I've said it about bouncing shots from, from medium tanks and, and lower tier targets and same tier targets. That's going to be just fine and dandy. Um, the KV-2s, they have no map control whatsoever. They can get flanked, as you can see. They are in that courtyard, sitting in the open, not, not really well. And here's a little bit of problems with the gun depression. Bouncing another shot from the STRV. And can we snatch the shot? Yes, we can. But we have to expose ourselves and we... <laughs> We have a low roll. That is a bit unfortunate. Luckily, we out-reload this Panzer 4 g But we've lost two bases. We've taken out one tank. Um, why aren't you engaging that uh, that Matilda Black Prince there, Martin? Well, I'm not engaging that Matilda Black Prince because it's a Matilda Black Prince. That is a DPM machine. He will punch through me. No problems whatsoever. No questions asked. Plus, um, that's the bottom tier tank. I'm a top tier tank, I want to kill that SDRV and keep um, our Matilda Black Prince safe. Cretoni underscore PL. We're gonna lose this game, that's already certain from this. Martin, it's still three tanks versus five, you can do this. No, I can't. Why not? Those uh, big boys, those uh, KV-1S's, they have pretty much full health. You can see that over there. This Matilda has pretty much full health, I can shoot him once. And I would have been able to sit lower down the slope if I had more gun depression. I can shoot him uh, twice. No, can't do that. Fixing the gun depression. He's rushing in, shooting him twice. Yes, there we go. He misses a shot. 175 damage dealt. Thank you very much. Can we shoot him again? Of course we can. There we go. Lovely. He shoots us twice and he's getting shot now by Kredzoni. And he is gone. Thank you. We are up to 1500 damage. I would have been happy with this result. 
Make no mistake about that. If I'm, I'm trying to aim for like 1300 to 1500 in your tier 6 tanks. That's all well and good. And yes, I have stolen that from uh, the almighty Baboon King that is skill for LTU. But I have also find that playing to try to get a certain amount of damage made it... I wouldn't say easier for me to play. I, I want to try to jump on this, uh, this, this stuke. I mean, we're going to lose the game anyway. Just have a little bit of fun and we cannot get another shot in. Uh, well, it's a bit unfortunate, but 2,215 damage dealt, second class, high caliber. I'm happy, guys. As I was saying, I did steal that thing here a little bit for trying to go for a certain amount of damage from skill. And there will be people who will be very annoyed at me doing that and say, Oh, you're just copying, you copycat. Yes, I am. But I'm not uh, going to change that. Why not? I found that playing to get a certain amount of damage in made me a little bit more aware, a little bit more patient of what was happening. Because I would try to go for an easy shot without getting punished myself and then reload, assess the situation and then shoot again. And that's exactly what we're going to do here because I'm looking at the lineup and I'm thinking one medium tank, I'm that one. Two medium tanks on reds. No way I'm going to go towards cap A. I'm just going to sit in this bush and spot. Right, there's the two medium tanks of the red team. Very good. Are we going to shoot this guy? No, we're not. Are we going to shoot that guy? No, we're not. We're going to shoot him now. There we go. We are spotted, obviously, but this VK is not paying attention whatsoever, so we can punish him. There we go. Snapshot. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I love this gun, guys. It is It's so great. As said, in the meantime, snapshot. Uh, I'm looking at the minimap. I'm assessing the situation. AC4 Sentinel, hull down, uh, guarding B cap. KV2 pushing in. Big gun, derp gun. Come on, buddy. Go with me, player underscore number thingy. I know you're just a player underscore number thingy. Can we track this guy? Yes, we can. We shot him through the tracks. Come on, KV. I've tracked him for you. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Well, KV2 is not taking uh, any chances yet, but we can shoot that AC4 Sentinel just once more and maybe once more. And are we unspotted now? We might be unspotted just about now. So here we go. Three, two, one. A little bit more damage. And 125, always roll. But we're up to 898 damage already. Thank you. AC100 has been taken out. AC4 Sentinel is going to be dead uh, now. There we go. And we can start working on the VK3001P. And here I make a little bit of a mistake in trying to count and depend on your teammates. Because this KV2 is just going, just going forward, la, 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 la. I'm in a KV2, I'm just going to roll forward, because why the heck not? Uh, I both a shot on the VK3001P, and here you can see that AP, that's, it is a medium tank, I know that guys, but honestly, you don't need a lot of APCR in this tank. And as I say that, I load APCR because I do not want to get uh, an ugly bounce on uh, on this tank. I want to kill him. We're up to 660 damage already. Take a look at this move I'm going to make here on the Cheeto SPG. I think this is a 200 IQ play by me and I don't get these a lot. Look at this. Look at this. Here we go. And drive backwards. Shoot him. Whoop. He misses. Thank you. You might not have the gun impression to go over the ridge frontally, but... Over the side, you have six degrees of well as well. And if you can angle your tank a little bit, you're kind of gaining a little bit more in, in terms of gun depression. So, yeah, that tank has been killed. Shoot this one on the track wheels, 179. Shoot him again and get some assistance damage. There we go. He is tracked. Boom, boom. Thank you. 571 in terms of assist. This, ladies and gentlemen, tankers of Blitz Universe, this is an ace in the making. We've got 2,310 damage dealt. We've got three kills already, as you can see. I want to get this guy out as well. Let's shoot him and we bounce because it's a Russian tank. That always happens. That has a lot of troll armor and we can shoot him again. Yes, there we go. And then get behind the building. No, ooh, he's not facing us. That's good. That's good. That's good. Uh, one of our teammates uh, is going to bump into us. There it is. And uh, we're going to track him in place to get more assistance damage, hopefully. No, the Dicker Max is going to bounce. Thank you, RNGesus. APCR through the front. There we go. Nice one. 2,898 damage dealt in the Firefly Saunders SP, as you can see. We get the Master, we get the Top Gun, we get the High Caliber, we get Oskin's Medal before destroying three vehicles with a medium tank in one battle, and they have to be one tier high. Very happy with that. You don't get these 
a lot these days in World of Tanks Blitz. 1223 base XP. And there you go. 3 point, let's say 3.4k combined. 3.4k combined, guys. As I said yesterday with the Icebreaker video, if you can get 3k damage in a tier 6, brilliant. A bad game in tier 8 or tier 9 would be would be like 3k that would be really good in a, in a tier 8 or a tier 9 so there you have it ladies and gentlemen tankers of blitz universe Fly, uh, firefly saunders sp uh, available in the store at least for me it was maybe it is for you as well thank you very much for watching i'll catch you all on the next one cheers happy tanking bye bye